welcome to instructional videos. Today we are going to set up the air pavilion. Before you begin, you want to make sure you have a power outlet or an extension cord handy to be able to plug in the blower. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove all the parts from this convenient carry case. The next thing I'm going to do is completely roll out the hardware. So you're just going to make it in an X format. As you're laying out your graphic, you want to make sure that the top of the display it has all the seams running to it. If it has the zippers running to the middle, that means it's the bottom of the display. So once I have my display laid out, the next thing I'm going to do is plug in the electric blower. And it plugs right into a standard outlet. On each of the legs, you will find an opening to be able to blow up the display. So I'm just gonna open it. And then using the air pump, I'm gonna blow up the display. So I'm going to inflate the display about three fourths the way up right before it's supposed to pop up and I'm going to attach my graphic. So I'm just gonna open up my graphic and what I'm going to do is attach it in opposite corners using the hook and loop strips. Once we blow the display up all the way, I'll reattach the Velcro to make sure the graphic is very secure. Now that I have my graphic loosely attached, I'm gonna to continue to blow up the display. As you're blowing up the display, you wanna make sure you do not over inflate. So I got my display up and I'm just gonna close the valve. The next thing I'm going to do is recenter my graphics. So I'm gonna use the hook and loop strips and make sure that my graphics are taut on each of the legs. Now that all my graphics are centered and taut on each of the legs, the last thing I'm going to do is stake in each leg. Using the included stakes, I'm just going to insert a stake through one of the D-rings located on the bottom of the hardware. I'm just gonna repeat these steps for the other three legs. It is just that easy to set up your air pavilion. So to install the air pavilion wall, the first thing you want to do is lay out your graphic and look for the zipper. So I have found the zipper, so I'm going to zip it onto the air pavilion graphic. An air pavilion wall will not install without an air pavilion graphic installed first on the frame. It is just that easy to install your air pavilion wall. Today we are going to install the water pocket into the air pavilion. So before you begin, you want to make sure you have your electric pump plugged in and you have your hardware laid out. So I've already filled my water pocket full of water, so I'm going to begin the install. So the first thing I'm going to do is unzip one of the legs. And I'm just going to unzip it wide enough to insert the water pocket. Then I'm gently going to push up on the clear plastic in the inside so that I can fit my water pocket in. Then I'm going to insert my water pocket. And you want to make sure that the fill up valve is on the top. You may need to stand up your leg to get the water pocket to securely fit in the bottom. Once you have your water pocket installed, you're going to take the clear plastic and make sure that it just gently lays on top of the water pocket. And then I'm going to zip up my leg. Repeat these steps for any additional water pockets you may have. Now, if you have graphics, you want to install the graphics next and then pump up your display. It is just that easy to install the water pocket into the air pavilion. <laughs> 